All right, in this video, I wanted to touch on a concept called CTEs, which stands for Common Table Expression. It's a way to write your SQL statements in more bite-sized modular chunks, which can help make your SQL look a lot cleaner and uh, it'll just make your life a lot easier and you know, you'll end up using these CTEs basically all day every day if you write any sort of complex SQL. But for here, I'll just try to show a simple example. We've got our table of the births uh, greater than 20K that we've made. And let's say we wanna add a column in here called is greater than 30 for average age of the mother. So we want to have another column over here. And if this is greater than 30, we want it to say one. And if it's not, then we want it to be zero. This is a common thing um, that you'll find with uh, data analytics and it's used a lot in uh, like machine learning and, and data science and that type of stuff, but also a lot in, in data analytics is you create a column that's uh, kind of like a, a feature, like a one or a zero, whether uh, something's true or not. And that, that has a lot of benefits with uh, model building and also for, um, you know, if you wanted to just like sum this column in Excel or something like that, it will tell you uh, the number of people who met a certain criteria. So how that would work is we would type something like case when average age of the mother is greater than uh, 30, then one else zero end as is age greater than 30. So we could run this, it adds another column here. So it'll, if this is greater than 30, it'll show one. If it's not, it'll show zero. Um, and that's all good. And if we want to, let's say we want to just get the number from this where greater than 30 is equal to one. So we want to reference basically a calculation that we made up here. You might think that you could just type where is age greater than 30 equals one and run this. But you're seeing up here that it's giving you a syntax error or unrecognized name is age greater than 30. So like it's not recognizing this. And the reason that is, is because of the order of how SQL gets evaluated behind the scenes. So a SQL statement starts with the from, then it goes to the where, and then uh, there's more parts of SQL statements that would get executed if they were here. But this one in particular, it starts with from, then goes to the where. And by the time it gets to the where, this hasn't been created yet. So this, what happens in this select statement actually happens at the end. And so what you have to do in order to make this work is you have to take this whole bit of logic and put that there. And now that'll work, and so you can run that. So that equals one. But you can probably tell that if you do this a whole bunch in your SQL, it's going to make it look really messy. Like you got all this whole logic in both places, you're duplicating yourself, it looks ugly. So what you can do instead of that is you can do as a CTE. And how you do that is you type with some kind of like temporary table name, uh, temp table, you can call it whatever you want, as, open close parentheses, it's actually, it's not technically a temp table. Let's call it my CTE. Just you name it whatever you want. And then you can select from my CTE. So now you can select from my CTE down here where equals one. So this is a lot cleaner way of writing SQL. As your SQL gets more complex, you'll really understand the value of writing SQL in CTEs that 
break it up into bite-sized chunks. Um, and the reason this works down here is because, you know, this runs, it creates this, and then this is kind of like another little table you can reference that has this as one of its columns. So that's how CTEs work. If you want to make more than one CTE in a query, you don't need to put this with here again. You can just type a comma and type something like another CTE as, and then, you know, you probably want to do something different to it, but just to show you how that works, select star from another CTE. So that'd be like this table is created, then this table references this table and creates another CTE. And then at the end, you just get a select star that says another CTE. So anyway, um, probably not the best example because this table is really simple. Um, like obviously if you wanted to get to this at the end, you probably could have just done like where average age of mother is greater than 30 in your where clause right here. But I just wanted to show an example of how CTEs, uh, how they work. And hopefully this makes sense. I know CTEs can be a little bit of a tricky concept, especially for beginners. So um, there's if you Google CTEs, how does that work? You'll find a lot of documentation about uh, the reason for using CTEs and how they uh, actually work from a syntax perspective. So you can start using them in your queries. So hope... Hope uh, you learned something from this, and I'll see you in the next video.